Hey YouTube, this is James and this is going to be my third video. And today we're going to talk about the fundamentals of philosophy in the Wiccan religion. The first thing I want to discuss is how there is a single force in the universe. Some people call it spirit, some people call it the all, the universe, the one. Whatever you choose to call it, it transcends gender, space, and time. Deity in its entirely is too large for us as people and too abstract to understand or to completely comprehend and to fully grasp. And be that, Deity becomes polarity. The polarity in the universe is goddess and god. The goddess and the god take on the abstract views of what is the universe, what is spirit. And it manifests itself in ways that we can understand it. Um, the male and the female halves, the goddess and the god, they are two halves of the same whole. They are connected by their polarity. The polarity, their relationship between the goddess and god, is the central, sacred dynamic of Wicca. Deity is inanimate. Deity is inherent in all people and all things. Because deity is inanimate, in each of us, we are each part of divine. And that is the basis of what magic is. Earth is manifestation of divine energy. Magic means bending or working with them to bring about desired change. Wiccans don't live by a um, adopt, adopted moral code. Um, however, several witches in the pagan and Wiccan community do follow what we call the Wiccan Read. And it was written many years ago by, I think, um, Vivian Doreen. And basically, the main part of it is harm none and do as you will. And a lot of Wiccans get hung up on the harm part, and it goes into this long thing of what is harm. Well, honestly, in my opinion, everything in nature harms something to get something from someone. Now, that is the unconscious choice. You do not go about everything in your life with the conscious decision to harm someone. But, through the things that you do, not everything is for the good of all. With that being said, I have a quote from uh, Wicked for Beginners by Thea Sabin, and it says, Trying not to harm anything to the point of assess asceticism, self-denial, is a measure of one's spirituality, which completely defeats the point of Wicca, which celebrates life instead of trying to control it. And those are just the basic fundamentals of what Wicca is. It says spirit, its duality, goddess and god, and the many aspects of goddesses who some view as one goddess, and all the many aspects of god which some view as one god, which make up the greater pantheistic godhead and larger picture of what spirit is. And with that, everything has divine energy, so as which you use that energy in everything, in the trees, in the sun, in everything, to pro project your intentions into the universe to manifest that desired change. Thanks, guys.